Series Band. Today, we're going to show you the capabilities of 12 of the most aggressive, powerful, and illegal dog breeds in the world. But first, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Let it bring you incredible luck in 2021. The Sarplaninac Shepherd is the perfect herding dog which can easily control a flock of sheep or even more stubborn pigs. But this dog can also protect you from a bear. The Sarplaninac's bravery has to do with its large size. The breed averages 60 centimeters at the withers and on its hind legs is about as tall as an adult man. But they can be bigger. Before you is a Sarplaninac that's 76 centimeters tall and weighs 90 kilos. Its leash is more for looks than anything because this man can barely even keep a hold of this dog. Only a strong chain can hold the Sarplaninac. Don't hook it up to your bike though, or you're in for a ride. No one is gonna wanna climb a fence and end up like this rag on the other side. If you're interested in owning a Sarplaninac now, then make sure you don't live in Denmark where these dogs are prohibited. Another dog banned in Denmark and restricted in Ukraine and Belarus is the Turkish Kangal. The Kangal has the strongest bite of any dog. Its bite force is 743 PSI, more than that of a lion. That's why this dog isn't even afraid to attack tigers. Kangals are also very tall and can grow up to one meter at the withers. Here's what it looks like compared to a Labrador. Such long legs allow the Kangal to accelerate to 50 kilometers an hour and easily jump up two meter fences. If the dog decides it wants to run, then keeping it on the leash is almost impossible. So and you won't find them in Bermuda or the eight states in the United States where they're banned. Cane Corsos make ideal guards, and if you happen to be in their territory, you might have to hide on the roof of a car like this guy. But once the threat is out of the yard, the dog immediately stops pursuit. To keep this breed, you need a high fence, because the Cane Corso is more than 1.5 meters tall on its hind legs. But the most important thing about this dog is that it fearlessly attacks enemies larger than itself and rushes at wild animals. Then, the Cane Corso uses its very powerful jaws, which, in in terms of bite force are not much inferior to a Kangal's. The American Staffordshire Terrier has one of the best bite endurances in the dog world. An Amstaff can hang on a tire like this all day long. But the dog's most impressive skills are considered to be the high jump and the ability to climb 3.5 meters up a wall. Because of these abilities, the Amstaff is completely banned in Switzerland, Denmark, Portugal, Germany, Norway, Bermuda, and several cities in the United States. And to keep this breed in Ukraine, Russia, Singapore, Romania, or Spain, you need special permission. Look at how skillfully this dog runs on a roof, stands on its front legs, and even walks along wires. Only the Belgian Malinois, a favorite breed of many special forces, including the US Navy SEAL. These dogs are valued for their high trainability, but they can also use those teeth. Most importantly, the Belgian Malinois is the king of the air. It can jump up to 7.5 meters high. Sorry, Michael Jordan, but you could only jump 1.2 meters. Some Belgian Malinois are so cool that they even parachute with the paratroopers. But in order to own a Belgian Malinois in Ukraine, Romania, Malaysia, or Bermuda, you'll have to obtain a special permit. If you're planning on moving to Michigan or Wisconsin, then you'd better not have a Rhodesian Ridgeback, because you won't be allowed in with it. And in Ireland, Ukraine, and Bermuda, this breed requires special conditions for ownership. It's all because Rhodesian Ridgebacks are so bold that they'll pounce on a wild boar or even an adult lion. This Rhodesian Ridgeback wasn't even afraid of a whole herd of bulls. Rhodesian Ridgebacks love to run and they have good endurance. At any time, the dog can take off and give chase at a speed of 48 kilometers per hour. But the most amazing thing is that they can even climb a tree to get to prey. This breed is only suitable for experienced owners because Rhodesian Ridgebacks may refuse to follow commands at any time. 
you'll never see a banned dog in Switzerland because these dogs are prohibited there. And in some cities in the USA, in Ireland, Germany, Romania, and Belarus, in order to get a banned dog, you need to be examined by a psychiatrist. The fact is, a banned dog can only have one owner all its life, one who must constantly prove their own dominance and leadership. The banned dog is also incredibly vengeful and will never forgive an insult, so training this aggressive dog must be left to professionals, and only from an early age. Otherwise, the dog's behavior is a case of Russian roulette, because the banned dog has the second strongest bite force of any dog. 730 PSI. So it is impossible to take anything from it until the dog loses interest on its own. The Alibi, or Central Asian Avcharka, is one of the largest breeds on the planet. By six months old, the dog is already 80 centimeters tall at the withers, and an adult Alibi can be up to two meters tall on its hind legs. A one-year-old Alibi weighs about 70 kilograms, but this Alibi named Bulldozer weighed 125 kilograms. That's like a refrigerator full of food. The Alibi is so strong that it can pull a car weighing 1,150 kilograms. So basically, you don't walk this dog, this dog walks you. Alibis have an innate fighting nature, because of which they aren't even afraid of fighting a tiger using their huge fangs. The Alibi is restricted in Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, and Italy, and in Denmark, these dogs are outright banned. The Rottweiler has the second highest number of attacks on people in the world. 10% of all attacks are by these 60 kilogram dogs, or even a bear. That's nothing for a dog that plays with car tires as toys. Nevertheless, experts consider Rottweilers to be good working dogs, but only professionals can deal with them. This breed is banned in Bermuda, Ecuador, and some U.S. cities, including New York. And in many European countries, a special permit is required for Rottweilers. American Bulldogs are banned in Denmark, Malaysia, Bermuda, and several U.S. cities. It's all because of their explosive nature and desire to dominate a person. Even a sleeping American Bulldog can suddenly attack. And this dog does not open its jaws for anything, even if it's hit. It has a very low pain threshold and an innate instinct to fight to the death. American Bulldogs also have sharp fangs with which they can easily bite through sticks. American Bulldogs are some of the most powerful dogs on the planet. Watch this dog pull a cart weighing 4.5 tons. That's 100 times its own weight. What is this girl thinking? Several dozen countries have strict regulations on the Dogo Argentino breed, and in Norway, Denmark, Malaysia, and Bermuda, these dogs are completely banned. This dog is also designed for speed and endurance, as it runs at a speed of 40 kilometers an hour. It doesn't even lose speed when pulling someone on a snowboard or tube. The Dogo Argentino has an enormous supply of energy which it must spend, otherwise it'll result in aggression. The Pitbull Terrier is the leader in attacks on people in the world. In the United States alone, 34% of all dog attacks are by pit bulls. Of these, 66% were fatal. Pit bulls are extremely aggressive by nature. They attack cattle without any fear of getting kicked in the face. Their jaws are considered the strongest in the world given their size. Seriously, why do they hate bicycles so much? Pit bulls are also very strong dogs with developed muscles, trucks, or even tractors, because a pit bull is capable of climbing a nine meter wall. The pit bull is completely banned in eight countries of the world, including Germany and Portugal. Strict regulations on keeping these dogs have been introduced in 53 countries, including 39 US states. Let's end it there because it's time for me to go feed my pug. What breed of dog do you think should be banned? Write in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.